Good morning YouTube. We are at a really awesome location. Been looking forward to doing a cold climate, so uh, cold climate job off grid. So I'm on the Canadian border and we're taking this building, this house and other infrastructure off the grid. And we got a well drilled a couple weeks ago. We're gonna be putting a pitless adapter in here, solar water pumping system. I'm gonna take this tank 100 feet in elevation, 600 feet away up on this hill. And we'll do our typical solar water pumping, except our trenches are gonna be six foot deep. And uh, so I'm not used to that. But we got an excellent excavator here with a big old mini, oh, not a mini, nice size machine. It's gonna get the job done. You can hear them digging in the background. And uh, so this, we got a lot coming together here. Looking forward to showing it all to you. We're gonna be putting uh, 33 panels on this roof. We got 5,000 gallons of propane. We got nice Cummins 30K generator, solar converter, batteries, you name it. Uh, this is gonna be a complete off-grid system. And then the fun thing is the radiant floor system being heated with PV Direct and uh, some other alternative energy solutions. We don't have time this year, but we'd love to get a wind turbine in here. There's a lot of good wind on this site. So, uh, but uh, here comes, here comes the, here comes the machine, and I got to get this tank up the hill. So um, that's uh, this is day one on cold climate off-grid installation on the Canadian border. Got my brother helping me, so this is going to be fun. I, I asked, I said, please bring your four-wheeler because we got a lot of trapes and through the woods. Ah, here he comes. So we got the man with the plan right there. Shh, quit laughing. There's US Border Patrol and customs agents that just showed up on the job site. I don't know what the, what they're doing here, but uh, <laughs> oh, they're, they can't see me. <laughs> so we're... Everybody sees you. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're having a little fun up here. We're totally out of our element. We're digging trenches that are over my head and um, it's very interesting. Let me show you the pitless adapter before I get arrested. Okay, pitless adapter is six foot below the ground and ready for our pump. We're up on the hill, putting a tank in. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. Putting a little sand in around our cistern just to protect it nicely. Yikes. Alright, we got a thousand gallon bruiser cistern up here. And uh, we gotta undo that top. Make a little dirt bridge so I can work on the top of this thing. Whoo! We're up on top of the mountain. All right, we've got some sand packed in on our tank and we're gonna start trenching down the hill. All right, just finishing up plumbing the cistern. We did hit a, a lot of rock here, but check out my super highway I get to work in. We're usually using a one foot bucket. We've got a three foot bucket today. You can almost put the four wheeler in here. Sweet. All right, we're gonna go get the overflow figured out. Whoa. We're making good progress on day one digging like crazy and um, We're gonna pick up from these existing curb stop valve here and Transition make a connection here and then get this back filled. So that's a nice little spring box So we're gonna pull this top section off and put a new section in and um, Then it'll have a little inspection cover that's easy to access versus the monster lid so it'll have a lid with an inspection cover in it. That's my goal. So this is the backup. It doesn't give them quite the pressure that they're gonna get from our solar water pumping system. So they have spring water and well water. And we'll fix that up. Pretty right. All right. What happened? Oh, 
What I don't want to do tree. is have a house oh, full of water. Oh my goodness. Hello, folks. This is Engineer 775, looking really rough today. But we're having fun. Can I have some of that true blue? Stop filming me. Stop filming. Okay, we're making our tie-ins, the end of day one, bringing our water down and tying it into the house with an existing, did not know what was there, we found out it was an inch and a half line. So we've teed in here, we've got our shutoff valve for the well, our shutoff valve for the spring, we're tied into the well, again a single line up to the tank, and that will establish our pressure. We only do one line, you do not need two lines, we've had that discussion today with some folks and then um, I think we're good we're gonna be sh we're probably short a few clamps aren't we we're putting our well in we put a lot of rolled poly pipe in today but we finally we got to make one more roll poly connection up at the spring and that'll we'll call it day one all right oh, before we set up is right there yeah let's check these out I never get to do these these are called curb stops there's a brass valve down there we're gonna um, basically this is a, a one a, a whole unit to be able to adjust to the ground level you can put extensions on it and there's a, a key so you can get down in here and turn your valve off so they can go up to well you can extend it as far as you want and um, so right now they've adjusted it a little bit high you can tap them down these plates will be at ground level and we got two we have one for our well water and we have one for our spring water so these are cool. I never got to play with these. These are kind of like meter um, city city water systems where they can turn off the water, but we're using them out in the field. So they're called curb stops. And thanks to thanks to Dan for picking them up for me because I looked all over the internet and I couldn't even get them. So appreciate it. All right. So I don't know what else to say. We're going to put a bunch of sand in here and get them captured so we can backfill our trench. And then we can... Uh, get this back filled and we can work on our solar all right beginning of day two we're gonna go ahead and rebuild this spring box we have a another spring box with an inspection cover just delivered it's gonna be awesome very easy to maintain just gotta pluck this old rotten one off of here first Taking the top rotten tile off. Okay, we're setting the new tile in. It's my brother working hard. He's gonna kill me. Going through shoes like crazy. There we go. Just having a good old time playing in the mud with me. Not. This is so much better than the, the old house. What a good idea. Thank you, Dan Pepin. I know they had it delivered this morning, and boy, did that save us from uh, future messes and awesome. Going in. We'll get these things backfilled here shortly. Make sure we hand pick out the rocks. Get these pipes settled in. And backfill the tank. Drilling our vent holes. Our vent for the tank. So awesome. Guy brought his dozer too. So we're getting this, uh, our pipeline all groomed up nicely. It's a beautiful spot. Some monster rocks in here. Can't tell you how thankful I am that I didn't rent a small mini excavator to do this job like I usually use. 
that would have had to be returned in the first couple hours. And we're working on the generator today too. We got a 30 kW Cummins single phase 125 amp generator. We got to get a pad poured and conduits in, gas line run, and then start working on the handshake between the solar converter, the generator, and uh, all that fun stuff. So. We're gonna hopefully two wire start the generator from the solar converter. Oh man, that's just, we hit, the weather's just perfect. I feel bad I evacuated from Hurricane Florence and came up here. I think I'm far enough away. Look at that, folks. It's kind of nice. That is Canada. Okay, and then down here, we've got this backfilled. Show you where our curb stops ended up. Again, the curb stop is an adjustable device, so you can set it at the grade. Set it at grade so you can access, and they can be adjusted, we'll grade right up to that. So the one on the left is the spring water shutoff, the one on the right is the well water shutoff. And the well's here. I gotta get some concrete. We're going to set our solar pole here. It's really morning. See the sun coming in now. Brown welcome. Okay. I don't know if you can see that down there. It usually shows up better on camera. There's the water and there's the pitless. Water's at 12, pitless at 6. And uh, just set the pump down uh, several hundred feet. And we're gonna make our connections now and build the solar array and get some water in the tank. All right, look at that, folks. Water coming up the hill to the cistern. Yes, it's dirty. We were in some really muddy oh, ditches, and but it'll flush out. And that's what the overflow will take care of in a day or two. So she's pumping. We got water. Yeehaw! What do we have going on over here? Got a little camouflage action for our vent tube coming up out. If anybody has done one of these in a place that gets a ton of snow, I'd be curious what you've done to keep it, keep the snow off the vent. We've got a, a bunch of holes drilled in here for the vent. I don't know if it's an, ever an issue, just curious as to what you think. We're about four feet off the ground. And I uh, don't know if that needs to be cleared of snow. And here we are at the developed spring. Well, the spring was already here, as you saw. And you saw the setting of the new lid. New section, new lid, and new inspection cover. So that is so slick. They cast it in a man way. They got cable hangers to take the lid off if you need to. Uh, it's been very dry up here, we've been informed. But this baby is just flowing like crazy. So they've got a really good spring here. They've had it for probably 50, 60 years. We just made a little upgrade to it, made it a little nicer, a little easier to maintain. Because when we got here, there were lots of critters, frogs and things inside the spring. They can't get in there now. So unless they burrow all the way down and up in. So the lid, the lid, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's cloudy. So we did disturb everything, so you have, uh, Oh, there's probably 500 gallons of water in here. Well, there might be a little exaggeration for three, 400 gallons of water storage, but we're running at, man, a couple gallons a minute. So very nice spring. This will be cleaned up. I'll show you final shots before we leave. So I didn't even know they could do this or that they offered these. They don't have them where we live. So this was really cool to have a cap and an inspection cover. You see so many people fighting that giant concrete lid every time they want to look at their spring. This is so much smarter. So they are available, folks, if you want to jazz up your spring. There's the old one that's just annihilated. No more critters getting in through non-existent screen. And it can snow all at once. Nothing's going to mess with this. All right, let's go down the hill there, bro. Whoa. All right. And they cleaned up really nice. 
and a little erosion control. Now we're going to start on the generator. Well, we're going to start on solar. There's the overflow from the water system cranking away. Gotta love solar water pumping. How do you beat that, folks? Here's the spring that we took off the old decayed, rotten spring box cover and put on this one. So I'm gonna take a peek in here, see what's going on. Oh my goodness, crystal clear spring water. Woo! Boy, did that clean that up nice. That is so awesome. So the off-grid site is coming together in a beautiful way. And then we put, again, our elevated cistern up the hill, up the trail. I'll show you the vent tube. Vent tube is right up there. <laughs> 